a gavotte by Lully as he might have heard it himself. But of course, whatever the benefits of musicological scholarship, the future doesn't lie in the past, and the threat from electronics to the traditional orchestra hasn't gone away. The forward march of the synthesizer and its offspring continues, and the ability to duplicate the sound of every instrument you could think of at the mere press of a button is not maybe so far off. In fact, given the speed of technological advance, it may be that this sort of speculation will be banished in the not too distant future to the sidelines of history. In the 1990s, an American scientist, inventor, and musician, Dr. Manfred Kleins, a pupil of the great cellist Pablo Casals, as it happens, devised what was in effect a synthesized orchestra in which the timing, duration, tone color, volume, and articulation of every individual instrument on any note could be manipulated with an extraordinary combination of precision and flexibility. Walter Carlos was doing the same sort of thing half a century ago with his best-selling albums like Switched On Bach, but unlike Kleins's, his synthesizer, the Moog synthesizer, sounded as electronic as it was. His musical potential was very great, but no musician could possibly mistake it for a real orchestra. Well, thanks to the likes of Manfred Kleins, that gap is closing dramatically.